If you're watching this, you're probably wondering if you can remove Microsoft Edge from your Windows computer. Maybe you're used to using different browsers like Google Chrome or Firefox, and you prefer to keep using them. In this video, I'll show you how to make your preferred browser the default, and I'll explain why removing Microsoft Edge might not be the best idea. Now, I understand the frustration. You install a browser you're comfortable with, but Windows continues to open up links using Microsoft Edge, especially for things like news, search, or help documents. It can feel like Microsoft is forcing you to use it. So naturally, the thought comes to mind, can I get rid of it? So technically speaking, Microsoft Edge is built into the Windows operating system. That means parts of Windows actually rely on it to work properly. Removing it can break features like Windows updates, Windows help, system search, and even parts of the Microsoft store. And even if you manage to remove it, to be honest, future Windows updates could bring it right back into the system. Now, the good news is you don't need to use Microsoft Edge. You can choose any browser you like and make it your default. You can do this by going to your start menu, opening up your settings, go to your apps, and then go to default apps. You're going to scroll down and find the browser you installed like chrome or firefox in this example i'll use firefox i'm going to click on it and then i'm going to change the settings so that it handles uh, every single web link like http https and html files are, are all going to open with firefox and i'm going to do this pretty much across the board for every file type now, Windows is always going to try to get you to stick to Edge. They're going to recommend you stick to that one as the default, but you can feel free to change uh, to whatever your preferred browser is. It's not going to hurt anything. And like I said, as long as you leave Microsoft Edge in the system, you won't break anything at all and everything will be fine. You'll be good to continue to use your preferred browser as the default. And even though you can't remove Edge, you can certainly hide it, okay? So you can make sure to unpin it from your taskbar, which I'll show you how to do here. If you just right click on it and choose to unpin it from your taskbar, you won't see it on the bar on the bottom. And then you can always remove the shortcut from your desktop so it's completely out of the way. All right, so to sum it up, Microsoft Edge is part of Windows. And I know that there are ways to remove it out there. Trust me, I, I know there are back... Uh, backdoor ways to remove it. There are programs that can help you remove it. I don't recommend you do this. As I said before, if you remove it, you could end up breaking your operating system. It is a vital part of the operating system and does many important things to keep your operating system up to date running uh, the way it's supposed to. Okay, so don't, uh, don't go find some backdoor way of removing it. As I mentioned before, you want to keep it. However, you can ignore it. You can change the default and completely remove Edge from both your taskbar and your desktop, making it not even a part of the equation, okay? I hope this makes it clear. If it helped, please consider hitting that like and subscribe down below. If you need help getting rid of Edge or changing your default apps, reach out to us via the number at the beginning and the end. We'd be happy to help you. My name's Tyler with My Computer Works, and you take care.